Hello guys, what up? This is Dr. Olive Alex, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a speed round transitions. It's been widely used on Matt Como, Rory Kramer, Telecut video. It's pretty cool transitions. And the best of all, you don't need plugins, and you can also do it too with Vegas Pro. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to keep in mind before you um, make the speed ram is that your video must be in the same motion. It's pretty the same thing as the whip pan, but what's the difference is that instead of you uh, panning your camera away from your subject, you're just still pointing to it, but still in the same pace. So basically here I got a video number one here moving forward and the second video is still the same it's moving forward. So um, basically you want to speed up till the very end of the video. So how you can do that in Vegas, you just simply right click, insert velocity. Now velocity is a tool that allow you to slow down your video and even speed up your video without even to stretching out your footage which is most people do by hit control and stretch it up don't use that method anymore it's stupid things to do so um let me explain a little bit about velocities here we got our uh, um, point now it's it's at 100% velocity meaning it's on the normal which is normal speed if I scrub through here it's you know in the normal speed now if, if I set it to 50% forwards your video right now is 50% slower now my computer is slow it's not powerful so it's kind of laggy but you get my point is so if you set it to zero your video will be stay in the um, freeze frame right now if you set it to uh, negative hundreds your video is playback in reverse now if you want to set it to normal you just press the normal pretty pretty easy so um, basically you want to add a point and then you want to add another point to speed up your video. So on the second point here, you want to um, pull it all the way up. Now when you pull this thing up, you can see this triangular thing. Now that's basically tell you after this scrubbing um, tools here, after you, after this uh, timeline thingy here, move forward it just basically loop back just the same as your first video started so basically after this it will be looped back to the very uh, first of the video so you want to make sure this uh, point is aligned with this triangular thing so make sure now if it doesn't align it's, it's just like one or two frame in front of this second point it's good it's okay but if this triangular thing is on just at the back of this uh, second point, you want to make sure it must be on the front or at the same position. Otherwise, it would just look weird when suddenly it just loop back to your very first sort of video. So now I want to split the video. I want to split it just beside the point. So press S to split. And then you want to delete the uh, this extra footage here because you don't need it. Now you want to do the same thing on your second video. So again, right click, insert a velocity. And we have already uh, our first point here in the front. So we're just going uh, forward a bit and just bring this anchor point to the top. Now I want to slow down until the uh, second point. So I want to right click, set 50% velocity. That means your video will be slowed down after that. So let's build a dynamic ramp review and show you guys what the video looks like. It's pretty simple transitions. So let's uh, let's play. Let's. There you go. Pretty simple. Pretty cool. No plugins required, and it's really effective transitions. So hope you guys like this uh, tutorial video, leave some thumbs up and if you have any problem related to this um, transitions, you can just leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, really appreciate it a lot if you do so. And see you guys on my next tutorial video. So don't forget to hit that bell button if you do subscribe to me. So yeah, thank you. See ya.